Well, kia ora. It's another gorgeous day in Ōtutahi Christchurch and today we're going to go on a bit of a tour of all the rooftop bars that Ōtutahi has to offer. And we're going to start at a place called Mr Brightside which is at the top of the old public trust office right here. So let's go inside and have a look, hey? What's left is right Chasing stars and holding you I can't see the end but we'll see it through My God, would you look at this view? And you can sit all along the balcony here, very popular spots, and you get all that lovely sun. It's like just such a stunning view. Over to the Port Hills, you can kind of see over to the Alps as well, like way in the distance. The Avon River's just down there as well, sparkling away. Love the world, but keep the sky on your mind. Rightio Flo, we've got the menu and it is extensive. Now because I'm doing three places, I'm just going to have some snacks, some snacks. So I've ordered the uh, the market fish ceviche and the soy marinated pork belly. They would be my like absolute go-tos at a place like this, but there's so much more on the menu. There's oysters, there's cheese, and you can kind of like create a charcuterie board, maybe something like that. A whole bunch of delicious looking small plates, fried chicken, duck meatballs, man I should have got those next time. You are spoilt for choice here at Mr. Brightside. Well the snacks have arrived. Oh my god, it smells incredible. It looks amazing. So I've got the ceviche and I've got the pork belly. They just, they look little works of art really. Let's have a look at this soy marinated pork belly. It's got mata sambal and chicharron. So we've got the chicharron on the top here, those lovely crunchy bits. Pork skin, beautiful chunks of pork belly in there, and then the, I assume the mata sambal is all that delicious goodness in between. Oh my goodness, look at that gorgeous piece. Oh, that's a good ratio of fat to meat. That is a beautiful thing. And then equally as gorgeous, this is the market fish ceviche. It's got coconut, lime, chili pepper, herb oil, that's that herb oil on the top, uh, and some potato crisps as well to chuck the delicious ceviche on. Lovely big chunks of fish in there. So the only thing left to do now is to actually taste it. I'm gonna go with that big chunk of... Oh my god. It'd be like any force necessary with chewing. That is so soft. The pork meat as well as the fat. The fat just kind of dissipates and coats your mouth with a lovely rich flavor. It's absolutely outstanding. Let's try some chicharron. Yeah, that is delicious. It's not too oily as well, which is really good. Let's put a little bit of pork on some chicharron. Oh man, it's salty, it's flavorful. Lovely to be crunch from the, the veggies in there as well. Get some of that delicious saucy stuff. Add it to the, oh, this is hard to beat. This view, this food. I'm just gonna have to stop myself eating that so I can try some of the ceviche. Ooh! Mmm. Oh man. Oh man. The fish is beautiful and tender. So you get the coconut first, then you get a little bit of that lime flavor, and then you can get a bit of a chili, a bit of chili at the back of your tongue as well. Oh, and the herb oil as well. Make sure you mush it all around so you get a bit of everything. That is outstanding. It's so fresh, it just tastes so fresh. Load up that chip, get a load of that coconut, some chili. Amazing, amazing. I think these two are actually quite well paired because you've got this really rich, intense flavor from the pork and the and the fat and the chicharron. And then the ceviche is, you know, it's a little bit lighter, it's a bit fresher, but it just kind of like slaps you in the face after you've kind of comb it out after that delicious pork. Okay, what a feed. What a great way to start this rooftop tour. Mr. Brightside done. Now we're gonna head off to the Pink Lady and see what they're all about. Well, as you can see, there's quite a bit of construction going on around the Pink Lady. I don't know what that building is, but it's um, it's big. Well, there's actually two separate buildings. And that's us, right up there. Haha, <laughs> we found it. Pink Lady, welcome. Oh. Ah, yes, that's a good sign. Look at this. 
lots of lovely seeing right across this wall, all looking out to this incredible. So this is looking east, and of course we've got the new stadium. Who knows what it's gonna look like by the time you watch this video, but that's it over there. And look, they've got rugs as well to keep your little knees warm. Oh, I love it. And then we'll just pop outside. Oh my goodness. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of construction going on, but it's exciting, I think. I love seeing stuff actually happening after the earthquakes because God damn, it's taken a long time. There's a massive crane. I want to know where the people who operate the crane go to the toilet. Do they just have a bucket? What's he doing? He's lowering this big bloody... Jeepers. And then we come out the other door by the bar and right in front of you, we're looking west again and towards the Alps. And then you spin around to your left and you've got the Port Hills right there the whole way along. What an incredible view and an absolute sun trap. Okay, well 10 out of 10 for the view. That's outstanding. Let's try some snacks. <sighs> okay, time for a wee sit down and have a wee peruse through the menu. At the moment, I'm sort of here at a weird time, so it's just the bar snacks on at the moment, but there's cheese puffs, manchego, braised duck taco, that sounds pretty good. Buttermilk fried chicken and hand cut chips. That's a great little snack menu for sure. Look, there's a drink called the Pink Lady. What's that got in it? Gin, house-made raspberry syrup, citrus and candy floss. Well, that sounds bloody fantastic. So we've got our braised duck taco right here. And then we've got our manchego, which is the um, charred corn and jalapeno croquette, which looks perfect. We'll just cut into that and have a look, shall we? Pretty crispy on the outside. Whoa, look at all that delicious filling though. Oh my goodness. It's got a really nice crisp outer shell, very crunchy, mm. very jalapeno, you can smell the jalapeno. Mmm, a beautiful, warm, rich, creamy centre. You get the jalapeno first. I'm a wuss when it comes to spice, but that's actually just spot on. Really tingles on your tongue. You definitely taste that beautiful, fresh jalapeno flavour. And then you follow up quickly by the actual corn, like the, the sort of smoky corn flavour. That is delicious. Comes with a little bit of mescaline. Let's use my fingers. Got eggy grains. Now I've been warned by the staff and they told me to be careful of this duck taco because it can get very messy and by the looks of things, it looks like it. So we can see down the bottom, we've got lots of that beautiful, rich looking braised duck meat and that um, yummy sauce. We've got some mango. Look at that. <laughs> you see it dribbling already? Oh. Mm. Wow, that is so delicious. There's a lot of flavor going on there. It's a slurp and bite. Oh, mm-hmm. The duck is braised beautifully. It's so tender, it really melts in your mouth. And combined with that sort of citrusy flavor as well, which is really nice because it cuts through the richness of the duck as well. And the taco itself is nice and soft. It keeps everything together. You just got to hold it over your plate. I'm a moron. The stuff on top is the daikon part of this meal. <laughs> and it's delicious too. Yeah, the daikon just gives it a lovely crunch a bit more of a freshness as well. That's a very, very nice taco. And just like that, it's gone. Look at all that, all that juice from one taco. <laughs> right there is some delicious sauce. Two incredible rooftop bars down. Snacks at both places, outstanding. The views are insane. You probably get a bit more of a view at Pink Lady looking kind of out towards the southeast, I guess, towards the Port Hills. So now there's only one thing left to do and that's head to the one restaurant and bar and see what they've got going on. So this is the intersection of Colombo and Hereford Street. Oh, that must be it right there, Christchurch City Hotel. As you come out of the lift, you're sort of greeted by this kind of moody, mysterious room. It's uh, all these like fiber optic lights. Let's go outside and check out the, uh, the view from, oh yes. Ooh. I can see Pink Lady over there, which is awesome. Almost like a, a U-shaped surround balcony. We're not quite as high as a Pink Lady, but I reckon we're, Mr. Brightside was four floors, so maybe this is just one story higher. Let's go around to this side where the sun is going to be hitting right until it sets. This is going to be the place to, oh, oh, and you've got this view right over the Cathedral Square. This is awesome. Wow, wee. This actually is kind of 
the opposite side of Mr. Brightside. So we're facing more east, whereas Brightside's facing west. And that's the great thing about that balcony is it gets that last of the sun. Looks like there's lights in there. There are lights in there. Oh my goodness, no wonder it's thick. It's probably got batteries powering it. You can't see it because it's daytime, but the, the paper is backlit with little LED lights. Ha! Anyway, great little menu, but I've just got snack menu to go off and I'm getting the scallop and the squid. Oh my goodness, this is the business. Look at this. I thought just because it had the word scallop as in singular, I was just getting one sort of like amazing scallop, but I've got a whole bunch. There's what, one, two, three, four, five, six, six scallops in there. This is awesome snack food right out of the fryer and it smells so fresh and delicious. And then the other one, this humongous bowl of squid. Again, I thought it was gonna be a lot smaller, um, but no, I'll get stuck into it because the sun's about to set. It's moving a lot faster than I thought, but we'll start with this delicious looking scallop. It's hard to beat really good deep fried food. <laughs> it's so comforting and warm, beautifully fried, lovely and crispy and light on the outside with that bread crumbing. And then look at the inside. Can you see that? Beautiful and plum scallops, steaming hot. That is delicious. And the mayo is beautiful as well. I'll be happy with just this, just the scallops. They are fantastic. But let's try the squid because I'm getting really full now. The squid also. Beautiful, golden brown, so well fried, and a good bit of tentacle. I like, <laughs> I like a good tentacle, me. Oh, good on me. Squeeze a little bit of lemon. I'll do the same on the scallops as well. Oh, I'm starting to lose my son. Oh yeah, got to add the lemon. The squid is delicious. It's so tasty. It's got a little bit of chew, but I've seen these kind of squid snacks before, and they are a little bit chewy, but they're a really delightful kind of a chew. It's not a good. I mean, I should know, I've got a terrible jaw. It's not a break your jaw off kind of shoe. It's just something to get your teeth into, especially after eating something as soft as those scallops. The scallops, like, there's no resistance. They're so soft and beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. Just like the other two places previous, I'd definitely come back here to try some of their mains. It's such a great looking menu. What an exceptional day. We're so lucky in Ototahi Christchurch to have some of these great places. So we saw Mr. Brightside. We had some delicious snacks there, a great view looking out towards the Alps. Then we went to Pig Lady with 360 views of the city and the Port Hills. And then we finished here at the one restaurant and bar above the Christchurch City Hotel for some more incredible views, looking over the Cathedral Square and off to the Port Hills as well. It's been an absolute stunner of a day and all the staff at all three places have been exceptional. To me, um, and probably to you, it makes a massive difference. And it's the kind of thing that even if they have amazing food and drink, that's kind of the thing that you always remember is how you were treated and I've been treated just perfectly. So hats off to you, all three rooftop bars. And thank you very much, viewer, for watching. As always, flick us a wee like and subscribe if you can. And we will see you in the next video.